Liam, a desperately disappointing defeat today at Witness. After being somewhat in control at 14-4 at half time, can you even begin to explain what happened in that second half? Well, I'm struggling, to be honest. Um, yeah, uh, did every, everything or pretty much most things right in the first half. Set ourselves up for, for a good second half and um, knew what we needed to do coming out um, and, and clearly didn't do it. Um, first, first 15 minutes of the second half, conceded three tries um, on last plays. Uh, one, one, with, one with a bit of a switch off, and then um, two, two off kicks. Um, you know, a couple, a couple of bounce of the ball here and there, and then uh, that rat, rattled us, and we, di we didn't recover from that, and we couldn't get ourselves out of that hole, which was disappointing. What was it at half time um, in the sheds to, to come out for the second half? Well, we needed to carry on doing what we were doing. Uh, we were doing it well in the first half, um, sticking to what we want, what we. Um, We'd identified and uh, where we wanted to play, and unfortunately we didn't do that in the second half, and ended up uh, under pressure for the first 15 minutes. And um, I think we touched the ball once, one set or two sets of six with it in 15 minutes, and conceded three tries, which were obviously massive uh, understatement, disappointment, uh, disappointing. And then we couldn't get the momentum back at any point in the second half. Um, not, not through want to try in, but then, then, uh, then we started trying, trying too hard almost, and, and doing different things, which, which compounded the issues that we already had, which, uh, which obviously made it look even messier than, than it already was. So, yeah, yeah, desperately d d disappointing day, uh, and one that we, uh, we need to bounce back from immediately and, and get, get our heads together and identify what we did wrong um, as a group, uh, each individual, right, th right the way through to, to us as staff. Um, and make sure that we, we come back stronger next week. After a win last week against Battler, being built on such good defence, is the most disappointing thing about the way that we conceded our tries in, in the second half? Oh, well, we conceded four tries off kicks. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll have to have a look at them, um, making sure that we, we fix that up. But, you know, there's no, no shortage of effort there when, you, when, you, when you're defending your full sets and, and, and you're you're conceding on on the fifth play, but but clearly we need to be better at defending that fifth play, fifth tackle, um, whether it's the, the kick or the run play, um, and then we also need to be uh, much more resilient when we when we're down on the scoreboard, which um, seems to be the issue at the minute. When we when we get behind, we don't seem to be able to stay cool and calm and and find a way to get ourselves back into back on the front foot momentum wise, and then and then giving ourselves chance to create opportunities because we're not even we're not even giving ourselves chance to um, create those chances to score if that makes sense um, which we need to make sure we identify and, and get better at and get better at being a bit more resilient when the chips are down and things are going against us. Well, the second half where we felt the, the rough hand of the referee's penalty count is, is that starting to concern you a little bit or is that something that we can fix short term? I think the uh, in the second half most of the penalties came uh, after the first 15 minutes, when we'd when we'd been uh, put under the pump and we defended pretty much solidly for 15 minutes, and we, we we got fatigued, and like I said, people started trying to fix things on their own a little bit um, and getting frustrated and sort of racking up a few penalties there. But yeah, at the same time, we, we obviously need to look at it and and make sure. But I think at half time there were barely any penalties in the whole game, so um, clearly it came from from the good job that we just did at the start of the second half, and and the fact that we um, we compounded our frustration by by doing that and giving penalties, and um, uh, yeah, and and doing things individually rather than collectively. Possibly makes next week's home game in Sheffield even more important. What response are you looking for from the lads, not least in the game but in training next week as well? Um, yeah, every game is important in Championship. It's a tough competition. Uh, most, if not all, teams can beat each other. We knew that. Um, you know, uh, we, we wanted to be going away from here three from four. We're not. We're two. We're two from four. Um, we need to be better. There's, there's things we need to improve on, without a doubt. But at the same time, it, we're not. We're not panicking either. Uh, after four games, we're, we're frustrated and, and, and angry with ourselves for our performance. Not no excuses and, and blaming anybody else. No, no, we're not blaming officials or, or or luck or anything like that. We've got areas we need to fix up, and uh, and we'll work hard to do it.